Hi, good evening, and thank you for joining us at Mission Valley's Distance Learning Back to School Night. Before we start, I'd like to thank the entire Mission Valley staff, and most especially our teachers, who have spent countless hours giving up valuable time, even over the summer, to plan engaging lessons for our children. While this has not been an easy task to take on, our team is up for the challenge. And so I thank you, our staff, and I thank you, the community, for supporting us in this endeavor. I cannot believe it is my fifth year here at Mission Valley as principal. It seems like just yesterday I was out in the valet and nobody knew who I was. And um, it's hard to believe it's been a blink of an eye and I am here yet another year. Um, my name is Mrs. Mapelli, and I want to thank those of you who are new to Mission Valley this year and uh, welcome back everybody who has been here with us in the previous years. Just a few updates as we um, venture into the beginning of our school year. We have loaned out to our students about 150 Chromebooks for use during distance learning. Um, we have given out just two hotspots. We do have more on order, so those will be coming soon as well. I am to learning many platforms along with our staff in order to help our students learn this year. And as always, I cannot wait to get into classrooms and visit and even teach our students throughout the year. While it's going to look different, we will be able to do this. Just a few um, bits of information that's helpful for families to know. Our Mission Valley website is going to be a valuable resource this year, even more than in the past. So please look for it. There is our calendar that lists all of our regular school days, all of our minimum days, and all those other special holidays and such. There's also our parent bulletin. We do send it out the last Friday of each month. It'll be sent out via our Bright Arrow messaging system, but it is also located conveniently on our website. Our library, we have a new librarian this year, Mrs. Robertson. She started visiting classrooms just this week, and she will be giving out some more information regarding our library coming soon. So please look for that. And then information is also on the website. While we are in distance learning, students will still need supplies to complete activities. So those suggested uh, supply lists are on the website, although you probably don't need everything on there, as well as the Mission Valley Handbook. There is also a link to the MVSA, which is our very important, all supportive parent club. There's also links on there if you would like to make a donation directly to your child's classroom. You see the green donate to your school button. There's also the clever login um, for your convenience. And again, because we are in distance learning, we will not be having as many pieces of paper going home. So I do encourage you to check your email regularly for Bright Arrow messages. Those Sunday messages will continue periodically from me, as well as text messages. So again, we thank you. We encourage you to utilize our website and um, look into the 2021 school year. Even though we're in distance learning, we are still required to report absences and tardies. So we do need everybody's help with this. If you could please call in or email the office staff, either Mrs. Kimberlin or Mrs. Gunnell, their extensions and emails are on this slide. Their information is also found on the website. Um, it helps us tremendously if you can call those in and report them. That way you don't get that infamous robocall asking where your child is. And as always, we are looking for some parent and family representative, community representatives. Our school site council plays a vital role. They oversee our um, student improvement plan for the year. There are only five meetings a year, uh, October, January, February, March, and April. We are looking for one member and one alternate for that committee. And we are looking for a parent representative to represent the Mission Valley School community in our district English language advisory committee. So if you are interested or you just simply want more information, please email me, Denise Mapelli at um, school, 
Again, it's D Mapelli at FUSDK12.net, and I'm happy to get you that information. And again, my information is on the website. We do have goals for this year, just like with any other year, although our instruction's looking different. Um, we have a goal to increase academic achievement for all of our wonderful students. We also are wanting to make sure that we implement strategies to support all of our students so that we're gonna support those students who need additional supports and we're gonna challenge and enrich those students who are ready for that experience as well. And then we can never do it alone. It takes a village as they say. So ways to engage with our parents and our families and our broader, larger community. It might look a little bit different this year, but we are still committed to growing those partnerships. One last thing and something that is new that is coming um, from our brand new superintendent is I'm asking everybody to save the date, October the 5th from 6 to 7. Our new superintendent is going to be having some virtual meet and greets for the attendance areas. And so for the Mission Attendance Area, which incorporates Mission Valley Elementary, Hopkins, and Mission San Jose High School, along with the three other elementary schools, he will be hosting a virtual event on October 5th. More information will be coming. Again, please look at our website, look for our newsletters, and then look for those bright arrow messages for more information. And now I would like to turn it over to Miss Fabiola, our amazing school counselor. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Fabiola. Um, this is my third year here at Mission Valley, my fifth year here with the district as an elementary school counselor. I have two schools, Mission Valley is one. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit about some of the stuff that I can do during virtual learning um, to help you. That's a little bit more enhanced than um, our regular school year. So I do suggest just take a picture of the slide um, and then that way we can you can use it for future um, information. So during virtual learning, um, one of my biggest things that I'm gonna work on is providing resources to families. And they'll look in different, um, in different realms, meaning um, on one is what you can see now is the school counselor website. Um, so we do have that in the newsletters, the teachers have it, but I'll show you pretty much all you do is go to our Mission Valley website go to students and teachers and then it'll give you um the school counselor link that you just press or um it's also included in the newsletter um the direct link but either way this resource um website of what you just saw has a plethora of information i always feel is it a little bit too much but i always get feedback during this time, as long as it's real good local resource that they can provide you now, then let's have it on there. So that's kind of my um, thing of what resources I have locally. So you'll see food distribution, um, information on shelters, um, self-care activities, suggestions for families to do instead of playing video games, and also being able to improve routines and structure to help our children thrive and there's a lot of activities on that website um second thing is providing strategies coping skills uh calming music so here's one um on how i do it. it's called a virtual common room teachers have access that i'll resend them and i think the link is also on the newsletter uh but it's also accessible on the website and if you look at this beautiful little virtual counseling office Every icon that you can click has a video or social emotional book, and the videos are breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, ways to just relax our mind and our body. So parents, I get a lot of feedback about parents loving this too, so it's for everybody. Um, but, you know, it's coming, so it's not just looking at it, but it's also going through and clicking, even the clock, the rainbow, every piece of icon is um, strategically placed um, and the link to each one you just click and you can see that with, uh, videos meditation there's even monkeys do meditation that kids love um this one that mrs mapelli just kind of clicked on is a painting one there's also uh for drawing so 
pretty much pretty simple. Kids just click on the paint and they paint the picture. There's also one for drumming and different types of beats and music. So that's the second thing is just providing those, um, being able to provide those strategies and coping tools. And normally when we're at campus, kids have me accessible and for me to access the kids and provide them the information during virtual is doing things like this calming room, putting stuff on the website of the school counselor website or distributing um, information. Uh, one of my goals too is also to provide teachers with a social emotional activity at least once a month. Um, even if it's a simple activity, just especially during this time as I'm speaking to a lot of kids, they're going through it just as adults are. And so being able to provide them with um, the ability to implement and use strategies and know what feelings are coming up for them. And third thing is also providing opportunities to parents to connect with me, um, answering any questions. So you see my email, very similar to Mrs. Mapelli, fcamarillo at fusdk12.net. Um, and I respond pretty quick to emails, 24 hours. Of course, sometimes ah, it gets a little bit bombarded, but I try my best. Um, and then also reaching out to families. So when I call families, it's never of a judgment. It's more of how can I help you so we can both support this child to have academic success, but also be able to thrive emotionally. Um, and so being able to provide you, the parent, with strategies, coping mechanisms, routines, and structures to be able to accomplish that for our kids. Um, and then also providing resources, referrals to local city government programs, or even within our district, um, covering mental health, counseling, case management services, career, career centers, um, places to get your taxes, anything like that. So feel free to connect with me um, whenever and best easily accessible through email. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day or a good night. <laughs> <laughs> and now for our Mission Valley Schools Association, which is our parent club. Hello parents, um, I'm Pritika Gupta. I'm president of the Mission Valley School Association and also a parent of a fifth grader here at Mission Valley. Um, MVSA is a nonprofit parent teacher organization. Our goal is to work with the teachers and principals to provide the school with the resources which are not funded by the FUSD and enhance our students' environment at school. We support both educational and social programs. Um, this year is a little bit different, um, but in a normal school year, you know, we fund and organize fun events like movie night, Halloween carnival, a lot of cultural celebrations, you know, just to name a few. Um, and we also support educational programs like fame, math and science Olympiad, science night, etc. Um, we are only supported by our Mission Valley parent community, both in terms of donations and the volunteer hours. Um, and so if you have not been involved with MVSA, this is a perfect time. You can start by attending our virtual monthly meetings right from the comfort of your home. You don't have to go anywhere. So it can't get any easier. Um, we always need volunteers and our immediate need right now is for math Olympiad chairs. So if you are a parent of a fourth, fifth or sixth grader and would like to help, uh, please get in touch with me. Um, and just today, actually, I was informed by Ms. Mapelli that we we'll, might be able to resume FAME, which is a fine arts music program. Um, so just, uh, it will be in an online format. So just wait, we are still going to work out the details, but be on the lookout for email on that and more volunteering opportunities. Uh, and we'll post that on from Stella. And once school resumes, hopefully sometime soon, uh, we'll start our other activities and then we'll be reaching out uh, for more volunteers at that time. Um, you can get all the contact information from our website, and if you have any questions, you can see to email me at any time. Um, next slide, please, Ms. Um, so the new parents, especially the kinder parents and any new families who have joined us, this is very important. Please join Constella because this is our channel that we use for communication with all the parents. Um, the information was sent out in the August newsletter as well. Um, and then there's a link here that you can use. I know everybody has lots and lots of apps these days, too much communication, but please do log into this. This is a great way to communicate with other parents because right now, you know, since we don't have any face-to-face -face interaction, 
this way you can connect with other parents that are part of your classroom and you know um, you don't have to figure out who um, how to uh, do things and there'll be you have a community support there for you um, and um, if you already are part of Constella and you've not reassigned the children's classroom for this new year, please do so. Just log in and reassign the new classroom that your children are part of. Um, as I mentioned, this is a different school year. You know, the needs are different. So now I will let Mandy, who's our vice president, explain a little bit more in detail as to what it is that the school needs this year. Thank you for your time. Hello hey everyone, my name is Mandy Sahota. I'm a parent of a sixth grader here at Mission Valley Elementary. Um, I am the vice president this year. Um, and as many of you know, the Busy Beaver fundraiser started last week. So a letter went out through Constella. Um, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, we're also going to be sent, well actually Ms. Mapelli will also be sending that out within a, the next couple of days. So if you're not on Constella yet, please join, but you'll also be getting the letter um, through email. Um, we're asking for a donation of $150 per student. Um, any amount helps us. And of course, if you can donate more, that is wonderful as well. But basically um, the things that are listed here are the most, um, kind of the, the biggest cost uh, things that we have coming up that we've either committed already to or we will be um, paying for. Um, we want to make sure that everyone, every one of our teachers has a working um, document camera. So everyone has one, but as the technology is getting older and things break, we want to have extras to uh, make sure everyone gets one, a uh, working one is needed. We want the teachers to be able to have a headset with a good speaker so they can communicate with their children effectively. Um, we've always paid for Scholastic News, um, the, the news magazine, um, but this year will be um, through online access. Um, and we want teachers to be able to have online platforms that help them with distance learning. Um, Generation Genius is something for science that helps the teachers. So it's not really anything that the students log on to, but it helps the teachers um, with material for distance learning. Um, there's things that we pay, pay for at school just for you know campus beautification or to improve our campus. Um, and these are things we committed to previously. So when we do come back on campus, we'll have really nice filtered water fountain stations for our refillable water bottles some playground tables outside that are new and new um, trash receptacles. Um, and one of the, um, this is my favorite thing is being able to give the classroom teachers some supply money. You're probably wondering why do they need supplies right now? Because you know, there's nothing going on in person, but actually there's a lot of stuff that they can still use the um, money towards um, online classroom subscriptions, um, distance learning resources for themselves. Um, they may need an additional monitor uh, so that they can, um, you know, teach and look at uh, work samples and things at the same time. For the younger students, maybe manipulatives for math. Um, a lot of our students came home with whiteboards after the uh, day that they picked up textbooks. So teachers have paid for those out of their own pocket. Um, paper for student packets, or if there's a special project coming out, you may, you know, go to school to pick something up that a teacher leaves for you. But the most important thing, I think that, and the, and the biggest cost is that, um, that salary that we pay for our wonderful computer lab technician, Ms. Nagata. Um, she's been with us for, gosh, I don't even know how many years, but uh, normally there's a um, computer lab that the kids go to, and I know they can't do that in person right now, but Ms. Nagata has helped the teachers transition over to distance learning and learn new technology, figure out how to work the document cameras or, you know, fix them or provide new ones. Um, and also just, you know, random questions that might come up about a feature at Google Classroom. And um, my understanding is that she'll be available to kind of help the students with things as technology things come up, maybe, you know, learning how to do PowerPoints and things like that, but just as needed to work with the students as well. Um, 
So the suggested donation is $150 per student. Per student. Any amount is greatly appreciated. Um, it is a tax deductible donation. And we just wanted to remind everyone that if you work for a company that does support corporate match, please, please um, leverage that and um, maybe check ahead of time to see if there's a certain procedure that you need to follow for a corporate match. Um, sometimes you can just pay make the donation and then get let the company know show them the receipt and they'll do the donation but sometimes you have to log in a certain way so just double check on that and then the letter has links to constella and paypal um we're asking for no cash or check um payments this year because we're not in person so um if you don't have paypal you could just go through constella and that'll there's a link there for your information there um, if you didn't get the letter yet and you want to make that donation before you see the letter you can al always go to um, our website which is mvsa-fremont.org and our links are listed there as well and um, as long as you make a 25 dollar donation or more you'll become a member of mvsa which um, gives you some voting rights if we're ever voting on um, any important decisions at an MVSA meeting. If you do have any questions or if I didn't cover anything and um, you, you want more information, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can reach me at vp at mvsa-fremont.org. Thank you everyone and have a really good night. Thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you, Ms. Fabiola, Mandy, Kritika. Have a good evening, and more importantly, thank you for allowing us to take care of your children this year. And um, all the best to everybody, and have a great Mission Valley evening. Good night.